Hello, my name is Maya Ribbink and I'm the Housing Navigator for the Homeless Prevention Program here at the MCSA. The goal of the Homeless Prevention Program is to provide assistance and support to individuals and families nearing homelessness. The Homeless Prevention Program process includes first looking at the emergent crisis that the individual or family is presenting. The emergent crisis creates an emergency response in the individual or family, which is what the Homeless Prevention Program is designed to try and avoid in the future. For example, a utility disconnection, a rent deadline coming up, or a threat of eviction evokes an emergency response that creates a crisis for the family. This crisis could be avoided in the future by looking at the root cause of the issue. Case management through the Homeless Prevention Program involves taking a step back from the crisis and taking a look at the individual or family's background and determining what could have led them to utilizing the Homeless Prevention Program. In the case management sessions, the root cause is determined through interviews with the individual or family to discover what their current needs are and what they need to help them moving forward and avoid another crisis. The recidivism rate of households that come back for more assistance from the Homeless Prevention Program is 15% within seven years. That means that there is a small chance that the household that received assistance the first time will come back because through the Homeless Prevention Program, we are able to assess what is causing the household to need the assistance in the first place. We do this by addressing the root cause of the crisis and we are able to prevent another from happening by doing this. The Homeless Prevention Program offers numerous services which include case management, rental and utility assistance, rental arrears, rental and utility deposits, employment assistance, education assistance, and other general support that could be used to prevent homelessness in an individual or family. Case management involves meeting with the clients or client to determine what their immediate needs are. And after the immediate needs are taken care of, then additional support is provided to ensure that the clients are able to obtain self-sufficiency. Additional support includes assistance for the individual or family when applying for food assistance, medical assistance, FIP, child support, child care assistance, and additional housing assistance. Additional housing assistance includes applying for Section 8, applying for income-based housing, and mediating between the landlords and clients to ensure that stable housing is maintained or obtained. Section 8 is a program that increases affordable housing choices for those that are living in very low income. The Public Housing Authority will generally pay the landlord the difference between 30% of the household's income. This is important for low-income households to sustain stable housing. The MCSA also works to maintain great relationships with landlords so that we are able to help household house clients the best way we can. Along with applying for Section 8 and other income-based housing, Birth certificates and social security cards are needed when applying. Some individuals or families do not actually have a copy of their birth certificate or social security card and need assistance ordering new ones. That all can be done through the Homeless Prevention Program. Rental and utility assistance may also be provided. This assistance is helpful when preventing homelessness because it's something that often arises when an individual or families are nearing homelessness. A utility disconnect or a few months of missed rent is an issue that arises for most clients. In fact, six to 10 households are one paycheck away from being homeless. One financial mishap can place a family in an uncertain situation. Additionally, due to the lack of affordable housing in Muscatine, many struggle finding housing at a cost that they can afford. Muscatine is 990 units short of affordable housing to meet the needs in the community. With additional affordable housing, there would not be as many households lacking stable housing. The lack of affordable housing in Muscatine is a huge barrier for people facing homelessness. The average rent in Muscatine is $762 a month. If you're working minimum wage and you bring home around $1,000 a month, you are not left with enough income to use for transportation, food, utilities, other bills, childcare, and additional expenses needed to survive. Even budgeting, that small amount of income left over after paying rent would not be enough to keep a household stably housed. The Homeless Prevention Program is able to assist with back amounts of rent or utilities, which is extremely helpful, helpful in keeping households in their homes. By being able to avoid coming to shelter and remaining in their homes, it allows for more progress to be made in other aspects of the household's life. The Homeless Prevention Program is also able to help individuals and families 
obtain stable housing by assisting with rental applications, housing application fees, and rental and utility deposits. The assistance that the Homeless Prevention Program has given to those in need before COVID has on average been about $200 per household. With that $200, the household has been able to put it towards what is needed the most in that moment, whether it's rent or utilities. The Homeless Prevention Program also assists with job searches by having knowledge of second chance employers, assisting with applications, as well as partnering with Crossroads to provide a way of receiving experience in a work setting if it's been a while since the client has had a job or if the client needed a, a, a fresh starting point to get them back into the working field. The program through Crossroads starts the client with what they can handle. For some, that may be only a few weeks, for a few hours a week, and they receive additional hours as they improve their ability to do their job, or they are able to start where they are most comfortable. The Crossroads program also assists in helping the clients find other employment after they have become more comfortable with working through the Crossroads program. Education and employment is a top priority with the Homeless Prevention Program. Through partnership with MCC, the MCSA is able to provide support for the client to obtain their welding certificate, CNC certificate, or CNA through MCC. The support from the MCSA includes assisting the client obtain materials they need for the courses, help with their rent and utilities while they go through the classes, and the support of being there for the client while they attend schooling. The welding, CNC, and CNA courses with MCC give individuals an opportunity to better their lives by teaching them new skills and helping them find jobs in that desired field. The MCSA is able to help the clients also find childcare, transportation, and other supports they may need to maintain their schooling. Through the Homeless Prevention Program, we, are able, we were able to keep 385 men, women, and children stably housed in 2020. Of those 385, 181 of them were children. Stable housing for anyone is extremely important, but stable housing for children is even more so. In children that are in unstable, unstable housing, 90% or more of those children are likely to have bad grades in school. 80% of those children in unstable housing are more likely to have poor behavior and poor attendance in school. In addition to poor behavior, poor attendance, and poor grades in school, each move that a child has to make sets them back six months educationally. Without stable housing, other needs are not being met for those individuals and families. A solid ground is needed to build anything on, and without stable housing, nothing can be built up. Individuals and families lacking stable housing worry about how they are going to pay the rent this month, when their utilities are going to be disconnected, or how they're going to afford groceries tomorrow, and so many other worries that arise when they lack a stable living situation. The Homeless Prevention Program is able to help stabilize those individuals and families to become self-sufficient and obtain stable housing. The Homeless Prevention Program has many success stories to share, but the one that has stuck with me the most is one of a young single mother of four. Through the Homeless Prevention Program, we were able to assess her immediate needs, which were assistance with her utilities so she was not disconnected. The young mother was affected by COVID, having trouble finding work and therefore having trouble paying her bills. The young mother struggled with making poor choices in her past, but was happy and proud to announce all the growth that she had made to get to where she is now. She had recently obtained her GED and was starting classes at MCC within a few weeks of our meeting. She was trying to make her life better for her and her children. She was starting a part-time job and had recently started receiving Section 8. She was worried about all of her back bills that she had accumulated and was looking to the MCSA Homeless Prevention Program for assistance. She had shown that she was well on her way to being self-sufficient and was needing support for her past. The Homeless Prevention Program was able to assess with her back utilities and help her make an understanding with her landlord that she would be okay moving forward. We were able to meet one-on-one, -on -one, help her apply for childcare, help her with her transportation and other supports that she needed. Now, the family of five is living comfortably in the same house, receives Section 8, is attending courses through MCC, and works part-time. The Homeless Prevention Program has been able to help individuals and families like this that fall on hard times because of the support from the United Way. Thank you.